So yeah, at this point I may, I may as well just finish the main story and then it makes more sense to just do the side content after this. Alright, so... Go through, go through this again. Um, yeah, every I, I pretty much I pretty much said all I needed to do, needed to for the tornado. I, I I understand that people prefer like may prefer the SA1 sky chase for the fact that you can move around, but I think this is more engaging simply for the fact that um, it's less mindless. Yeah, you do have to think about what you're pressing and it's not as like brain dead easy as in as in SA1 and uh, I don't know I, I find it more engaging just on that alone damn it funnily enough though th it is actually easier to get an S rank in this in this fer like sky chase compared to the first one because in the in the first one you I don't think you can miss any shot, whereas in this one, you are allowed to, and you and you you'll still get an S rank. So I find that kind of funny. <laughs> Damn it! I, I'm doing really badly. <laughs> it's okay though. We just need to get to the end. It doesn't matter. We. And uh. Yeah. It makes sense for there to be a second version of this, like for the end game though. If they had this for every continent, like that's when I would have had that that's when I would have an issue, but just just having two of these ain't ain't too bad. I think it's fine. It's essentially like having the two racing stages in SA2. Um like not too many, like, there's only a couple of them, so you can't get too mad at them. I guess in SA, SA2's case, there are the three uh, racing challenges as, as well, beyond the Rouge and Tails ones uh, that you play in the in the campaign, but, you know, still, you... Okay. <laughs> you only have to play two of them to beat the story, so I, th I, th I think that's fine. As opposed to SA1, where you have to play the same two Sky Chase levels twice. Like, God. <laughs> like, that's that's the thing with SA1. Like, the it's not only the fact that the Sky Chase levels themselves, like, being really easy, that is the only issue. It's the fact that you also have to play them twice. You have to play both of them as both Sonic and Tails. And it's just so redundant. That's also the reason, that's also an, like another reason why I prefer these over the SA1 stages. And just trying to blow us out of the sky. Alright. Alright, and now we have to fight, um, uh, do the, another... Tiki from Donkey Kong Country Returns, and uh, oh god! Alright, yeah, same dances, same song and dance as last time. There's really no new tricks this guy has, so not much to say. I think it, like, I don't know if it's just the lighting, but he has like kind of a golden tint to this one, as opposed to the last one, which, which I think was more white. I could be misremembering, but yeah. Kinda of curious what rank I'm gonna get for this actually. One thing I will say that's kind of an issue sometimes is that when like robots and missiles and whatnot are like behind each other, it's and you can't see what button you have to press, like it can cause issues, especially when they're both like really close together. So you could take out one and then the one behind that is just too close to you for you to react. So you just kind of eat crap. <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit of an issue. There we go. So I don't... 
see, see, I don't know what Tails is really talking about when he says, like, he's got a trick up his sleeve. Like, maybe if you take too long, he'll shoot out a laser or something, but that's never happened, so I, I have no idea. Alright, that's, that's fine. I'll, I'll live with a no. Oh, boy. And now we have the final cutscene. Uh, well, fine. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, now we have the cutscene before the stage. And good God almighty, there's uh, quite a lot of things to say about this place. Tastes. But get a good shot. <laughs> Surprise? Yes, of course you are. Sonic! If you have any complaints, come deliver them to me in person. If you can, that is. <laughs> oh, he's enjoying this way too much. Sonic! I can feel the last temple nearby! He must have built this place on top of it! Well, I guess we'll just have to tear it down. Okay, so now we're finally at Eggman Land. And, um, yeah, this is, this is something that Eggman's wanted to build for several games now, since pretty much SA1, I want to say. And, um, I kind of like this in, in the sense that this is, like, the build-up to this point. Like, this has been built up through several games, and I like the fact that it's fun like it's finally come to fruition like this is an actual thing that you managed to build and i like that because of that it's the longest and most difficult stage in the game like it sh like it should be this is the final stage um i'd still i still wouldn't say that it's like super difficult in this version specifically it's definitely the hardest in in the game still um and it's very long as well like there's only there's only one regular day stage like normal um, and then you have not only four night stages this time, but five, which is a little bit overkill, i got to be honest. Um, but it is what it is. It's the final stage after all. I do feel like there should have been, like, maybe two day stages to compensate, though, and not just one and then, like, three missions or so. Um, but we, either way, though, this is what we have, and, uh, yeah. It's a good stage. There's a lot of uh, different set pieces and sequences and whatnot. And then you have this guy back from Wimmel Isle, which I don't remember if he was in any other stage besides that. Um, but either way, though, it's basically the same just here. Just avoid his attacks, then just boost into his back. Uh, nothing's really changed, though sometimes you you do end up run running on the walls here. Um, but other than that, the same song and dance. Not much to really add here. It's a cool sequence though. Yeah, I, I really like the look of Eggman Land visually as well, like all the all the lava and uh, machinery and whatnot. Definitely gives the imp like I, I like the um Aesthetic, aesthetic choices here, like, really fits Eggman's character. And I want to talk about this more in the 
God damn it, dude. I, I want to talk about this more in the HD version, but um, what I like about this being really difficult uh, is is the fact that like, I feel like it should be. Like, this is something that's that Eggman's wanted to build for years now, and I feel like it's a, appropriate to be one of the hardest stages in the series. More so the HD version. Like, this is... I still say this is fairly difficult for what it's worth, but again, the H the Wii version of Unleashed is uh, pretty lax in comparison to HD by quite a quite a severe margin. Um, but it still it will still test your skills. Um, it's definitely no cakewalk, and it's also a lot more linear compared to the HD one. Um, there's not as many alternate paths and whatnot. Um, so there is there is that I suppose, and um, you do want to book it for the for the S rank as well. I it's that well I guess it, I guess the case in point of this being difficult. This is like the only stage where I've actually died in, uh, so take that for what you will. But yeah, I'd say that this is a pretty good ending for. Oh my god, I I just suck today. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. I'm not usually this bad. Um, it is what it is. Yeah, I'd say that this is a pretty good send-off for the Wii version stay stages. It's probably up there as one of my favorites in this version. I, I'd say my favorite might be Chunan, just because I feel like that stage has a lot of um, interesting stuff going for it, and I like how many pathways there are and um, the just the general level design as a whole there like I think is pretty I think it's pretty fun this is also this is also up there as, as well though this is a very very solid day stage and that's all she wrote so yeah I guess I'm gonna have to play that again to get an S that's all good though. And I believe we just have like a ring mission and then a time attack. Yeah. This one isn't too bad. It's it kinda it, it basically just lasts like the first little bit of the stage here. Like it, Why am I so bad? <laughs> good lord. Okay. Just not fall off and die this time. That would be nice. <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is the worst gameplay ever. Okay, come on. Let's get a move on, please. Okay, do that. Careful now. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, I feel like the missions are, like, more scary than the, uh, like, the main stage, to be honest. And the spinners weren't, weren't there this time. It's especially scary on the, um, time attack, because you have to do the whole stage. Okay. And you need to do that to move on with the story. Go a different path. Yeah, this is the, this section here is probably the there's like this and the later 2D section that have like a few different pathways. So so that's an eight. 
It's not completely li uh, linear, but... You know. Okay, here we go. This is the this is the time attack. And uh I wouldn't be surprised if like if you like if you played this game and this was kind of a roadblock for you because this is quite a jump in difficulty in a lot of ways because it's asking it's basically asking you to replay the hardest stage st day stage in the game with a time limit. Um, like you, you do have the little the time gates that give you a bit more time. Okay. Why? Mm. Yeah, they, you have the time gates and all that, which are, which are nice. And you don't immediately lose if you die, um, but it does cost you a lot, especially if a checkpoint's like really far away. So. Yeah, I can imagine this being a bit of a roadblock for some people. Um, and uh, again, like, this is not a... S Dude, why are you... Uh. I don't know why I'm having so many issues today. Yeah, still the... Yeah. Still though, they, yeah, this is not a um, side mission or like a random special mission or wh what have you. Like this is a mandatory thing you need to do to get to uh, the final bosses, which I feel like is a little bit out of place. I I do I do get that this this is the final world and they want you to have some challenges and whatnot, but I feel like something like this should should have been like, save for bonus missions instead. I don't think you really need to do- need to do something as extreme as this. Because the HD version just has the one stage that, uh, yes it's like really long, especially you, on your first go and you don't know what you're doing. But, it's still one stage after that, like, okay. After that, you just have to fight Eggman and Dark Guy and whatnot. And, you know, that works fine. Whereas in this in this version, yeah, I get the I get the fact that they to, at at this point has done like side missions after the main the main act, and I guess it makes in some ways it makes sense for this one to be like up like really difficult because you know last stage you expect that, but I feel like this might be a bit much compared to the rest of the game. I feel like this is a bit too extreme of a difficulty spike for a lot of people. It's, um, again, I, I wouldn't say this is like the hardest game ever, ever anything. I'd still say that this is one of the easiest 3D Sonic games overall, um, or just Sonic games in general. Um, even still though, I, I, I feel like, I feel like they shouldn't have, like, done something as, as extreme as this. Like, maybe, maybe just like half the stage in the time limit or something like that. Um, I think maybe that could have been fine. But definitely not the whole thing. Like, I feel like it's a bit overkill, especially if like you're a more casual player and like you're just trying to get through the main game. And up to this point, there really hasn't been been anything too stren strenuous in this version. Like there have been, I guess, a few challenging moments, but nothing too out there. Like nothing that's like completely. Um, like, suit, like, a lot more difficult compared to, like, the rest of the game or what, what have you. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know, this, this just feels like a, this, this just feels a bit strange. Like, I, I don't think this, this should have been, um, part of the main game, if you ask me. But, hey, it is what it is. It doesn't kill the game for me, for me any, anything, but... Again, I can imagine this being a roadblock for, like, newcomers and, and the like. Difficulty balancing is, a uh, is important, guys. <laughs> and, uh, you might say that, because of this, that I'll have bad things to say about the HD version, because that, that uh, is considered 
one of the hardest levels in Sonic history. Well, I... I have, I have a lot of uh, things to say about that, but we'll get we'll get to that soon enough, soon enough. But it's a lot more positive than you might think. <laughs> but I have my reasons. We'll, we'll we'll get to that when we play that version, which will be a little bit because again we have like five st <laughs> werehog stages to play through, which are also fairly lengthy for my recall. So yeah. This is a cool sequence, like, you just boost and, uh, stomp and then get in the spring and, like, do home attacks, like, it just has a nice flow to that, to that, like, I, I like that. And this is a cool sequence here, like, I mentioned on the HD version in, in Jungle Joyride Day, how the first section was, like, a more dangerous version of Rooftop Run, Rooftop Run's, uh, Quick Step section, um, and that's pretty much the case here, like, there was a a quick okay. I, I like how you just don't hit, you just don't home and attack the other uh, no bar thing. <laughs> but yeah, there there was a quick step se section in the Wii version of a uh, rooftop run as well. And um, I like the this like this version of Eggman Land has like that part at the end there that um it's like a harder version of like the quick stepping like if you fail that you're probably gonna die and yeah i i, I like i enjoy stuff like that just mechanics you've learned throughout the game are tested in like a, a final stage so like you have to give it your all basically and uh yeah so yeah, this is where the bulk of the gameplay are gonna, is gonna be uh, is gonna be for Eggman Land. There's again, there's five five night stages here, and they all go around for about five to ten minutes or so. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a while, and there is gonna be as usual a bunch of fighting, and you do kind of want to be a bit careful here because they do since this is the final stage and all that, they do send out like. The, the toughest mooks in the game a lot of them with like big health bars and whatnot um so you 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 do want to try and make use of like the blocking mechanics and um making sure you aren't just getting pummeled to death constantly and whatnot because your health can your health can go down really fast if you're not paying attention in the, in these levels especially when you get to like like the elevator sequence and whatnot so I keep pressing the wrong button. I just want to throw these guys. There we go. But yeah, kiss in point, like... I j we just started a level and uh, my health is already going down fairly low. <laughs> and there's a, quite a lot of secret secrets here as well that um, can be pretty easy to miss. So, if you are on the lookout for collectibles, you do want to take a look around. I think I need a s switch. I don't remember everything about this, so... <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> nice. Okay. There again. Secrets, fun to find. I still stand by the fact that I feel like, in terms of e exploration, the Werehog stages have some of my fo my favorite um, instances of that in the in the Sonic series. Just because. Okay. Let's actually go to the left place. <laughs> Just because I feel like, it, it just feels really rewarding to find the items, and I guess in a way it's a similar feeling to uh, finding, like, a special ring in Sonic 3. Um, I guess this, for me, uh, being a, a more slower place platform in this case, 
makes it makes my mindset feel like I, I feel more inclined to explore in a slower place platformer like this as opposed to something like the day stages which is why I think this works and that's why I don't mind say like the metal collecting so much and uh, I feel like in the HD version specifically that's the the metal collecting elevates the warehouse gameplay um, as opposed to hinders it which I can uh, I, I will agree um, the day stages kind of get hindered by the fact that there are medals to, co to collect which Again, as I've said multiple times at this point, I don't mind it myself, but it is, it does kind of go against uh, Sonic's general design, like, going blazing through, like, blazing through levels, and then having these random collectibles to find on top, like, in said stages, just kind of goes against the design, um, as opposed to, I don't know, I, I guess the difference with the special rings in, like, Sonic 3, and Sonic Mania and whatnot, is the fact that you find those along along the way and it's an, an immediate uh, reward. Um, and you don't need to find all of them, you just need to find at the minimum seven and you get like your super forms and whatnot. Whereas in w Unleashed HD, you need to find like hundreds of the things. <laughs> so, and, uh, and uh, not always, oh, I missed something. Oh well. Uh, and they're not always placed in the most obvious locations. And, uh, yeah. I think it's also the fact that um, you end up finding the special rings in, like, secret paths or just secret walls you go through and whatnot. And it's like an aha moment. Like, you go through a wall and you find a ring. It's just like, oh cool, I found a secret. And the, whereas opposed to the metal collecting in this game, where it's more like, okay, let's go around every nook and cranny just trying to find the metal so I can move on with the game. And uh, I can understand the frustration there. It is what it is. I can, I can only say so many times that I don't mind it myself, but I, I still get it at the same time. The, yeah. <laughs> That there's not much else I can add to that, really. Like, I've said all I needed to about, about it. And again, they, they, yeah, they should have, they, they should have made the medal collecting for, like, optional stages instead. Which is what they do in this version, like, they, um, they unlock the Gaia Gate, sp like, sp uh, puzzle rooms and whatnot, which I think is the way better implementation of them. So, yeah. I just murder these guys, and it will be all, all good. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I. I don't know where I'd rank these uh, night stages specifically, but they're pretty solid.